I have been uh, in the industry, especially the manufacturing industry for the last 20 years. This industry adopted the project methodologies and project management quite late. Some of the key challenges that I have seen in my industry is one is uh, project managers have been generally looked as a project coordinators. Many of the time we have seen and experienced that the same teams were given all the projects. So there used to be this conflict of priorities at which projects has to be taken and naturally the functions, uh, the strong functional hold, they wins the case. Fourth part is uh, the risk areas. Most of the time I've seen that many of the uh, projects, they start acting on the risk when it actually comes in. So more of a reactive mode rather than being a proactive risk managers. Being this industry type because they have evolved as a functional industry and uh, you know the communications are more uh, into the functional verticals compared to the project matrix organizations. So these are some of the key challenges that uh, I have experienced into this industry. Number one is the communication. Communication across, whether it is vertical communication, horizontal communications across the teams. Second and important thing is all the comprehensive planning. The more in details that you go in, the better the project is managed at. The third and the important one is also the risk management. Having known your risks much beforehand when they occur is very, very important. I remember one of the example uh, in one of the industries, one of the companies that I was working, you know, we were so focused and it was one of the Greenfield projects. We were so focused that even before the design came into the existence, there was a target given for the cost. Then it was very, very important that when we are designing it, this is the cause that we have to get it in. So that actually made the whole uh, design team and the uh, vendor development team to come together and you know work on the design, work on the suppliers, even before the design are on the papers. So this is, this is I believe, are very, very important for the projects. You know, I've seen that a certified person is more equipped with the tools, the methodologies, the templates, and that certainly helps the person. Secondly, I've also seen that, you know, when you are more knowledgeable about the whole project experiences and uh, you are aware about how to handle and what are the processes, then you are like you are more capable to take up the risk. Not only this, you know, they, they know how to monitor and control the project. What are, uh, what are important things when the uh, project planning is being considered uh, from the start? How should we be actually taking care of the risk? So a certified professional surely uh, brings in those important aspects that I talked about uh, while when you know and that that helps the person and that helps the project and the organization overall uh, to manage and monitor and control the whole processes on the whole project life cycle. Being a project manager you actually see the project from uh, you know from all the aspects from the concept of the project to the launch. Not only this, when you are uh, review, when your project is reviewed at the top leadership of the organization, what happens is you make those connections, those networking happens, and your visibility is very, you know, that's how you are visible as a project manager. And surely that helps in somebody, you know, in any, anybody's career. It surely has, certainly has helped in my career. I have seen this tremendous growth, and I see uh, that happens with many of the individuals. That's why I strongly advise that one should be uh, making a career into the project management. It's, it's, it's an exciting field to be in. I did my PMP uh, certifications around 15 years back. Before that, I was more of a project coordinator. When I did the PMP certifications, I realized that the projects are not only coordinated, you know, they have to be seen from a planning stage uh, to monitoring, controlling, and finally the feedback has to be come up for the next project. That helped me. And, you know, PMI uh, comes up with the uh, different and changing technologies or methodologies uh, as the situation and, and the industry demands comes in, like the discipline agile methods or the DevOps methods. Or even for the uh, core manufacturing industries, there is more and more in-depth 
templates, tools and uh, the other technologies and other methodology that has been coming. Not only this, I have seen a PMI connects network and then uh, that helps to share the experiences across the industry and uh, it, it really helps.